Ever imagine what would happen if any of the hazardous material from space just hit the Earth? It seems terrifying because we all know even the smallest of hits would mean the end of life on Earth. So is the case we are going to reveal in this episode. This is Earthy Perks, and here we are with somewhat horrifying scenario if a gamma ray burst would hit the Earth. Throwback to the time when dinosaurs were wiped off from Earth or Ordovician extinction. Have you ever thought about what actually triggered these mass extinctions? It was a result of a gamma ray burst. Gamma ray bursts, GRBs, are the brightest electromagnetic blasts known to occur in the universe and can originate from the collapse of the most massive types of stars or from the collision of two neutron stars. Both GRBs and supernovae are usually observed in distant galaxies, but can pose a threat if they occur closer to home, where they can strip the Earth's upper atmosphere of its protective ozone layer leaving life exposed to harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Astronomers predict that the lethal destruction from a gamma ray burst would stretch for thousands of light years. So, if a gamma ray burst went off within 5,000 to 8,000 light years, we'd be in a world of trouble. Though they last mere seconds, gamma ray bursts produce as much energy as the sun will emit during its entire 10 billion year existence. Now the question is, where do gamma ray bursts come from? The longer lived versions of gamma ray bursts have been found to be associated with ultra powerful supernovas called hypernovas. This occurs when two stars between five and 10 times the mass of our sun end their lives and implode into black holes. Hypernovas are 100 times brighter than typical supernovas and are thought to be generated by stars that are spinning particularly fast or have an especially strong magnetic field. But the short-lived gamma ray bursts, which make up 30% of such events, remain a mystery until 2005. A 2004 NASA's Neil Garrel Swift Observatory finally gathered enough data to reveal secrets regarding short-lived gamma ray bursts. It was revealed that they were likely caused when two ultra-dense stellar corpses, known as neutron stars, collided and formed a black hole, or when a black hole ate a neutron star. Such outbursts are so strong that they can produce ripples in the fabric of space-time called gravitational waves. Gamma ray bursts also seem to focus their energy in a narrow beam rather than emitting it equally in every direction. So far, gamma ray bursts have only been detected in distant galaxies. However, it is possible for one to occur in our Milky Way galaxy. If a new gamma ray burst were to happen near Earth, it would strip our planet's protective ozone layer away and expose all life to deadly ultraviolet radiation. Normally, the ozone layer in the upper atmosphere shields the Earth's surface from harmful ultraviolet light, but a GRB or supernova would quickly eviscerate that layer. As the UV rays penetrate the planet's surface, they would break apart oxygen molecules and ground-level ozone would form. But would the ground level ozone created after a GRB pose a long term biological threat? When the radiation enters the atmosphere, the depletion is concentrated here instead of spread around the globe. This is because the radiation produces chemical changes in the middle atmosphere, an atmospheric transport from this region, making the effect of the GRB most extreme in this location. The ozone layer in the stratosphere blocks harmful UV radiation from reaching the surface of the Earth. It takes at least 30 ppb of ozone to increase the risk of death due to respiratory failure in humans. Ground-level ozone can also damage plants by reducing chlorophyll production or killing the cells outright. But once again, there needs to be at least 30 ppb in the atmosphere before ozone becomes a risk to vegetation. If all of the 10 ppb of ozone generated by a GRB became dissolved in the oceans, it would still only have a very minor impact. Making ozone to deplete to its maximum, or using it against the environment, it's a big win situation for these gamma ray bursts to harm the human race. Without this ozone layer, we could imagine how destructive the end results would be. No ozone means no life. With this, it's Earthy Perks signing off, wishing you for these gamma ray bursts to not hit Earth. Till next episode, stay tuned and keep liking Earthy Perks.